Hi, this is Wu from National Indoor RV Center. And in this video, I will be going over how to update the Vega Touch software if you have version 25. Uh, this is on a 2019 Cornerstone. It also applies to the Anthem as well. So, first thing you're gonna do, if you were on the home screen, is come over here and hit the settings button. Once you hit the settings button, if you hit the software tab up top, you can see what your cur current version of software is, and you can see that this one is version 25. Now, if you have version 25, you must follow these steps in this video. Anyone else with a different version, please follow the instructions from my other upgrading um, software video. So again, at this point, what we wanna do is hit the user tab, go to network, and we wanna connect the coach to some type of outside Wi-Fi network. So again, once this populates, it'll give you all the Wi-Fi, um, the different Wi-Fi's that are available. Um, and you want to choose whichever one applies to you. In our case, we're using the guest one, and you can see that we're already connected to it. Um, normally when you press this, it'll ask for the password, and then you just hit the connect button. And at this point, what you need to do is go to your PepWave router. Um, you'll usually find that in your AV cabinet, depending on the layout of the coach. Uh, this, one has, this one has the fireplace, so the PepWave is over here and on top of the pep wave it'll have a sticker on there and that'll be the coach network id and password so on your phones or you can do this from a laptop or um on a ipad or tablet you're going to open up your wi-fi list all right and then you're going to locate the coach number the ssid and find it on your phone here we are and again you put that password that's on there for password and you can see that we've already connected to it so now that I'm connected to the network I'm just gonna cancel this what we're gonna do is go back to the Vega touch and we're gonna pair our phones so what you want to do is open up the app we're gonna go to pairing all right once the pa uh, app loads up you'll see the pair now go ahead and hit pair now all right we're gonna use the QR code to pair and on your screen you should have a QR code so just scan the bar give it a second and you'll see that the information loads up and once it does go ahead and hit the pair button all right, so after you hit the pair button, if you look up on the screen, it asks you um, when the activation expires. If you are the coach owner, just hit never expires and then press allow. All right, once you do that, you should see the device pop up here on the right. At this point, the screen pops up for um, paired device and we're gonna do connect locally. All right, so once you have the app open, all you wanna do is go to your tab and exit out of the app itself and then reopen the app all right so when you restart your app what you'll see is this will pop up and you want to go ahead and hit update now all right so on your screen you should see the screen blank out um, it's going to go through the whole restarting process All right, so once the screen loads back up, what you wanna do is hit the settings button, go over to software, take a look at the current version now, and you can see it's at version 33. So again, all other versions, you'll be able to just hit the check for update and update the software, but if you had version 25, you must do it through the app.